This is going to be a really fun guide. In this tutorial, we are going to walk through how we can create our own QR code generator. We're going to walk through how we can do it using the Ruby programming language and a specific gem, and then we're going to see how we can create our own utility that we can simply call as a script from anywhere on our computer and have a custom QR code generated. I got the idea for this when a friend of mine who owns a small restaurant here in Scottsdale, Arizona, wanted to switch to wireless menus to or to digital menus and so he gave me the link to his website, to his menu page, and he wanted his patrons to be able to go in and scan the QR code and then have his menu pop up. So I thought that would be a really fun way of learning how to work with QR code. So I built this little script, and so that's what I'm wanting to show you in this guide. So first and foremost, before we can do anything, we need to install a specific gem. So the gem, and so make sure you have the version of Ruby that you wanna work with. In this case, I am working with Ruby 3.0. And then the gem that you're gonna to wanna to install is called RQR code, just like this. So to install this locally, and you could put this inside of a Rails application, but for our sake, we simply want to install this on our local system so that we can call it and then have the file generated here. So it's RQ, R code. So type gem install that, hit return. And then if you do not have it installed on your system, then it will grab that and it will install it locally. Now I personally already have this installed on my system for Ruby 3, so it's not going to do anything for me since I already have it. So while that is going and it's trying its call, there we go, we're going to talk about what needs to happen to build this feature out. So we're first going to see how we can generate a QR code using just a few lines of Ruby with this RQR code gem. Then from there, we're gonna see how we can actually pass data directly to a script. So if you've done a lot of work with Ruby, you may be used to calling Ruby files from the command line like this, where you're in the terminal and you say Ruby, and then you know some file.ruby, and then it runs all of the code in that file. But how can you actually pass data to it? So in our case, I want to be able to pass the website. So I want to pass the website for the QR code that I want to generate. I don't want to have to go into the file every single time I want a QR code. Then also, I want to pass in a custom color. So maybe I want to pass in you know, a red QR code or even a specific type of, and this is what we're going to do, like a specific hex color or something like that. Well, we're going to see how we can work with argv, spelled out like this, where we're able to pass arguments directly to our script calls. So that's what we're going to do in this guide. We're first going to simply build out a script, hard code our values in, and then we're going to see how we can make it dynamic. So I have a file here called QR generator. And the first thing we need to do is import the gem or require the gem. So I'm going to say require RQ, R code. And then from there, we're going to define the instance of this code. So I'm going to say QR code as the variable name. And then RQR code is the module two colons, and then QR code new, and then this is gonna be the website. So here, I'm gonna just do, let me actually grab my friend's website, just so this can be completely realistic. There we go. And then now we're going to convert this into a PNG file. So I'm gonna create a PNG variable and then call QR code 
and then as PNG. And just so you know, if you ever have to do this, you can actually use this library to generate all kinds of different files as QR code. So you can create SVGs, you can use it to create ANSI files. Uh, it's completely up to your own needs. I personally have only used it for PNGs, but you can do whatever you need with it. So as PNG, and then I'm gonna pass in some arguments here. The first one is gonna be the color. For right now, I just want it to be black, but we're gonna later on see how we can make this dynamic. Then the fill is gonna be white, and then the size. So this is gonna be how many pixels wide and tall it is, it's a square, so you just have to provide one value. And I'm gonna say 300. And then from there, we're going to write to the IO and we're going to do a bin write. So you say IO dot bin write and then pass in whatever the file name is. So in this case, I'm just going to call it website dot PNG. And then the second argument is the actual file. So PNG, which is that is simply taking this variable up here. And so we're calling PNG dot 2s and if I don't have any typos then all of this should work so let's call this Ruby QR generator and it appears that it worked if I open up the file system you can see there we go we have a website QR code generated here and if I open up my camera on my phone and hover over it it is going to pop this open and I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it opened up my friend's website. So that's all working really nice. And this is great. This is a really nice and quick way to be able to create that QR code. But now let's see how we can make this more dynamic. Specifically, what I wanna do is make it so that I don't have to come into this file whenever I wanna change the website URL. I also want to be able to work with different colors. So I don't always wanna have a black QR code. Maybe one time I want a blue QR code or you know something like that. So how can we do that? Well, let me comment all of this out right now, just for a moment and I'm gonna show you how you can work with argv. So I can say puts argv, just like this, and then let's just get out of that file, and I'm gonna run the same command of Ruby QR generator, and then I'm gonna put a website. So I say google.com, and then you know some hexadecimal color. That's not a hex color, but Let's just put it in there and let's see what happens. So if I hit return, you can see that when I print it out, when I said puts argv, it's actually grabbing these arguments and it grabs them as an array. So if you open this up again, if I switch this to p so that we can actually see the, the true value, let's print it out, you can see that argv is an array. So each one of those elements is an element in the array. So the first one's a website, second one is the color, and you could put any types of commands that you want there, and you have access to them. So now that we have access to them, let's open it up and let's see how we can actually work with them. So I'm going to uncomment all of that out. And so now I'm going to place these as variables. So first one's going to be website or you know, I could go something like yeah, URL. And then this is going to be argv and it's going to be the very first one. So it's going to be required that I put the website first and then the other one. So for color, I want this to be optional. So maybe I don't always want a custom color. Maybe most of the time I want it to be black. But if I do want to paste in my own hexadecimal color, then I would like to do that. So for that, I can say argv1. So I'm grabbing that second argument. So if that exists, then I want to do some string interpolation where I'm going to generate a hexadecimal value. So 
I'm using a pound sign, which is needed for the hex color. And then the second pound sign is because I'm doing string interpolation. So here I can say arg v1. And then if not, so in other words, if I don't pass that value in, then I just want it to be black as a backup. So black's going to be the default. But if we do pass in a second argument, then it's going to be this hexadecimal color. So now what I can do is inside of new, I can get rid of everything that we have here and say URL. And then for the color, I can swap this out and say color. And now everything else should work. So I'm going to close this out. And now I can type Ruby QR generator. And let me get my friend's website URL one more time. And right now I'm going to go just with the default. So I'm not going to paste in a color. If I hit return, then it appears all of this worked. If I open up the finder, you can see we have this website here. And also one thing to keep in note, that whenever you do the IO bin write and you create that file, it will overwrite any file here with the same name. So I didn't delete that last one, so it just overwrote it. So we can fully test it out by running it again. And you can see that that is back and that's working. So, so far, so good. Last thing, all we need to do is test out to make sure the color is working. And to do that, I'll just go find a hexadecimal color. So I'm going to my other browser here. And there we go. That's a blue color. And so now this should generate a QR code that instead of having black, it's using blue. So hit return. And now let's test this out. There we go. It appears that worked and it did. So we now have in just a few lines of Ruby code, a pretty easy way of generating our own custom QR codes. You were able to learn how to generate QR codes, how to work with argv so that you can pass in values directly into your scripts, and then how you're able to use those values and use that data to generate the full QR code.